Should we introduce ourselves? Oh, right, you go ahead. Uh, my name's Granger. Uh, first off, welcome to Story Central. My name's Granger. That over there is Jacob. Hi, I just sent a message in Discord letting people know about things. And that one, the the streamer is coming to you live with the stream, that's Rudy. Did you really have to introduce me like that? Yeah. Not streaming, not coming to you live with the, not the streamer, Rudy. Uh, I'm still messing with the audio. Oh. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, it was seven point neg minus seven point two fucking decibels. Please just put it that way. Yeah. Damn you, Streamlabs. There we go. I got it. Okay, we're perfect. You did it. And tonight, we're reading a story. Yeah. Specifically, the one introducing us. Me. That's me. You guys want to think it's titled already, and I think both of you already know what it's titled, but do you want to, for the fucking sake of the VOD, you want to know what it's called? What? What's it called? Lamonk's Paw. That's crazy. I have never I heard that, that before. That is, that is actually insane. I am losing my mind. Now, Jacob, when I said this to Jacob, Jacob didn't know what it means. But do you know what it know. means? What, what do you mean you don't know what it means? I didn't, I it's didn't in, understand. The story, the story's title. It's Le Monk, and possibly yeah. a reference to Monkey's Paw? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's exactly what it was, but I didn't understand either of those things. Yeah, well, you're a big dummy. Dude, you do not have to tell me that. <laughs> I know I just have dinner, but fucking now I gotta find a snack. God oh my it. gosh. Do you Wait, you're literally to? going to dinner you with your girlfriend? To? What are you yeah, doing? I'm not Don't eating eat. with dinner at my girlfriend. You could eat something there, at least fucking socially, like, eat with her and make her feel good. I don't know, fucking save, stop. No, it's okay, I got, <laughs> I got the perfect thing. Whatever I said earlier, to balance out the audio, to yell... I don't think you guys yelled enough. I, I literally it. went, ah! How is that not? <laughs> I also was pretty loud. I, there we go. I think we got the audio going. I'm not really sure. Okay. Snack acquired. I'm okay. sorry I didn't do fucking angry decibel. <laughs> yeah. You, you raised know, up a few decibels. Want to know what my snack is? Mm. Absolutely not. Rudy, do you want to know what my snack is? <laughs> sure. <laughs> my snack is going to be four. I might not eat all of them. I might just have like two. But mystery flavored Oreos. Ooh. What's the flavor? Spooky. I don't actually know. It tastes pretty good, but I've yet to actually like decide. It's, Rudy, if I were it to... Oh, you go ahead. Sorry. It tastes kind of like a graham cracker. But not exactly. It's close. It's probably I'm not graham sure. cracker fra flavor, for what I assume. <laughs> Jacob, what would you say? say oh, if I were to say October Ween, what would happen? Nothing. Fuck. <laughs> These rules don't apply here, son. Fair enough. Wait, what happens when we save it live on the other channel? Oh, you'll find out. Don't tell him. Yeah. I've yet to do it. Or don't, hear it. Don't do it. Don't tell him. Yeah. Anyways, I mean, you can do it, but you wouldn't do anything here. Okay, yo, it's a spooky story today? Yeah. Why, why is that? Is it, could, could it have been... Because it's the monkey paw I gonna, story? I was, was going to say that, like, long-winded, but you, uh, you just pretty much summed it up there, right there. But say, oh. is, is it to celebrate the, the coming event of Hallow Halloween? October Halloween? Halloween? Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Are you guys hashtag... Epically excited for Halloween coming up? No. No. I've never been hashtag anything in my life. <laughs> we really piled on there, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> it works. It's all fine. You know, it's, it's cool. Hashtag epic. Stop. Okay, fine. You, you're a day away. One you're, more day, and then it's just going to stop being ironic. You're on thin ice, mister. Uh, 
I, I started saying Epic recently because we were playing RL Craft and like, I don't know. I think it was because of Norman. <laughs> he had the he said it. And I was just like, man, it's a stupid word, Epic. It is. It's an incredibly stupid word. I enjoy it. I know it's like yeah, complete it's garbage and I shouldn't do it. I should never say it. You gotta say, say it. it ironically. If you say it too much, not ironically. It just be just not ironic, and then you're just actually just saying epic, and it's sad. Dude, that'd be epic. God damn it! <laughs> I'll stop when I want to. Okay. God, he's not my mom. <clears throat> Are you ready for story? <sighs> I guess. Yeah, I'm locking it in. Oreo's really good. I uh, also, I guess, I'm ready for the story. <laughs> The spookiest time of year. A time for January. A time for decorations, candy, trick or treating, and certain women going out in way too little clothing for this kind of weather. I mean, I know you're supposed to be a cat, but it's 35 degrees outside. You should be wearing some pants. Best of all, don't you this dare! Is the time of don't you dare slut shame. You disgusting <laughs> animal. Just saying, it's cold outside. If I want to, if I want to see some ladies' legs, even though it's thirty-five degrees outside, I God, it, it's God's will. Good night, good. You're gonna get frostbitten, frostbitten legs, and then it doesn't look no good no more. Says you. Cause front, you want to see frostbitten, freezer burned legs. Uh, also, I'm just saying it doesn't get anywhere near thirty-five on Halloween here. Mm -mm. No, Texas, a lot of times though. it's fucking like eighty. Mm-hmm. A stupid hot. <sighs> I hate it. Same. Best of all, this is the time of year for spooky stories, and tonight's story is no exception. It starts like any other day at the Story Central Mansion. Norman is jerking off to anime shit like Hamtaro or something. Please excuse me. <laughs> Stop. Um... <laughs> the, the white one. Fucking, I forget her name. What's the white one's name? From Hamtaro. Oh, uh, that one's the name white hamster is oh Alexis. The only one's name I know is Hamtaro. That's it. Her name is Houston. <laughs> uh, Merrick is sitting in the corner, staring at a wall and giggling to himself, repeating the phrase "cock and ball torture" <laughs> incessantly. <laughs> Uh, that's up all right. Yeah, that's accurate. Rudy yeah. is on his 156th consecutive hour of streaming, asleep at his desk while he's being repeatedly killed and respawned by Albert Wesker in Resident Evil 5, who has started gaining sentience and is able to con control the game without Rudy's inputs, but has not yet gained enough sentience to do anything more than walk up to him and do a sweet flip kick. Granger is busy eating saltines and rereading through the dictionary. <laughs> Glad that I've made you eating saltines into a thing. Yeah. <laughs> How did it start again? I, I didn't Because he's on a diet. <laughs> okay. And he eats too few calories, eat more calories, can you eat more okay. food? Okay. You're I can't though. Calories. I went to the dentist today. Don't do it right now. Do it when you can eat. But fuck you. Uh... He doesn't actually know how to read, but he does get a certain feeling when he looks at words. And boy, does the word aardvark make him very happy. <laughs> She's still in the ace. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob is busy doing his normal chin cell things, like going to the mansion's indoor zoo with his girlfriend, but somehow not getting the sun. <laughs> Jacob. You take her to the zoo, but she don't <laughs> and, suck. And she don't suck? <laughs> this is not good. This cannot happen. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> However, unlike other days, there is a disturbance that interrupts the stillness of the mansion's halls as everyone is busy with their daily activities. A loud banging emanating from the front door can be heard echoing through the halls and a strange package is left at the doorstep without a trace of its deliverer. The that's one just, to investigate- That's just normal oh, UPS, yeah? dude. They yeah. bang on the door and then run as fast as they fucking can. It, it, you can actually see it, because we have cameras. You, you can see yeah. it happen, it's amazing. 
They, they just yeah, he actually <laughs> bangs he bangs the package against the door as hard as he can, and then he runs. That's correct. Just to just to fuck it up. They they speed walk like crazy. I don't know why they were so afraid of somebody walking out and saying hi to them. Because fucking that'll waste his time. He's got to be efficient. I don't know. I guess so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's exactly that. Mm. The one to investigate is Rudy, who is startled awake by the loud noise and uses it as an escape from his torture. He walks down to the front foyer and opens the door to receive this strange gift. There are no distinguishing markings. <sighs> markings on the packaging. <laughs> markings. He's <laughs> doing Something only, that happens every time anyone tells a story here. <laughs> the only things visible on the outside are the tan of the packing paper. The green is gonna get caught up for it. And the twine holding it together. Twine. That, that's real though, that's the right way. I know, I just wanted to say it out loud. <laughs> Not knowing who the package is for, he opens it himself and sees a small wooden crate, chained and locked within a larger cardboard box, and a small note card with a key. The card attached to the outside of the crate has no address, return address, name, or date. It simply reads, Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was good. Oh. Oh. I hope that's getting, not getting picked up. I hope that's not getting picked up oh. on my mic. I, I have like a little ghost thing that reacts to sound. And like my cough was so loud, it activated it. No, it's just like just flying around my <laughs> yeah, head. Yeah, it's going. I can hear it. You can hear I can it. Ba Fuck. Barely, barely. Bare it's not it's bad. Very quiet. Shut up, you damn ghost. <laughs> oh, well. Piss it off next time. Yeah. I'm sorry, I coughed. <laughs> Intrigued, Rudy takes it inside and immediately begins to crack it open. Inside is a menacing-looking dried and preserved hand. Not quite human with dark purplish skin and covered in bright orange hair. Its four fingers and opposable thumb are open as if presenting for a high five. <laughs> Rudy tries to pose the fingers, but they are extremely rigid and immovable, as if made of stone. Why did they just touch that? Uh, uh, <laughs> that could have had, like know. anthrax or some shit on it, I don't know. I, fucking fuck it, it's a gift. I'll throw it's that in a shit neat looking up, crate. But it said uh oh on the label. <laughs> I would assume that Merrick worded something he forgot about. <laughs> <laughs> Disappointed in his mysterious gift, he takes it back up to his room, sets it on his desk, and begins to stream once again. After a short while, he grows tired of streaming and goes to chat to try and interact with them before he takes a break. His heart sinks when he notices he has negative one views. <sighs> And he sighs to himself. <laughs> it's too real. <laughs> Man, I wish I was the most viewed streamer of all time. Oh, here Rudy we go. said. Before lightning miraculously strikes outside the house, despite it being a sunny day with no clouds. He looks out his window for a moment, hears a faint echo of poopy, and then, <laughs> and then back to his screen. Poopy. What he sees. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> what he sees, he can't even comprehend. His chat is going fucking bananas. His view count has ballooned to 14 billion people, oh, which is what? which is impressive because there's only like seven and a half ish billion people on the planet. He's now the number one viewed streamer in the world. He revels in his newfound success by immediately starting up Minecraft and beginning a new world. Things start out wonderfully. He makes jokes in chat, hogs his clown horn, does all sorts of gags and gets bits by the thousands. Then, he starts actually playing the game. He walks up to a tree and punches it. The chat immediately turns on him. Fucking idiot can put your tree right. Is spammed by the millions along with lols and baby rages. Rudy is reduced to a sobbing heap on the floor after five minutes because of the humiliation and scolding he receives from chat. Uh. He ends the stream and goes to take a panic shit in his bathroom <laughs> before, he, <laughs> before he realizes 
fans have set up cameras in his bathroom that stream to dozens of alt accounts to view him. Everywhere he turns, he sees cameras. From his pantry, to his kitchen, to his living room and bedroom. Rudy has become not only the most viewed person on Twitch, but in the world. However, he's now also the most hated person in the world. Even Donald Trump tweets about him saying stuff like, Stinky, crooked Rudy is terrible, and we need to build a wall around his house. <laughs> and even Democrats back him up on it. <laughs> what? Oh, this is a hell. <laughs> Rudy, not knowing where to turn at this point, pulls out a gun from his closet and blows his brains out. All the while, in the background... Too real. A bit... <laughs> <laughs> While in the background, a bit donation for five bits comes in saying, Kill yourself, Kappa. <laughs> That's pretty accurate, honestly. Yep. <laughs> You're not left. Wrong. What? Nothing. Wrong. You want me to need another Oreo? No. Do it, no, Jared, but you won't. Stop. Stop. I think I won't. I bet you won't, idiot. Stop. You're wrong. Don't do it. I dare you. Damn. You. That was a hearty crisp. Merrick has now decided to mix things up a bit, and instead of staring at a wall and chanting, cock and ball torture, he has switched to, cummy wummy yummy daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gross. After a few minutes, he looks down to see a weird hand sitting in his lap. It has one finger curled up and the rest extended, like it's counting or something. He picks up the hand and for no particular reason says, I wish I was so bored. All of a sudden, lightning strikes. What was that a distance, voice? Uh, Merrick's voice? I don't know. Yeah, have you never heard him speak? <laughs> I yeah, said, that's what he sounds like. Yeah. I wish I wasn't so bored. Yeah, it's con <laughs> it's Canadian. A very strong Canadian accent. Oh, sorry about daddy. <laughs> oh, boot daddy. Sorry, there boot daddy. All of a sudden, lightning strikes. A distant, stinky echoes throughout his room, <laughs> and two MMA heavyweight champions burst through his door, brawling fiercely. They both punch and kick each other all around his room while simultaneously destroying his things. Is it? Is that Merrick's, to... Hold on, let, yeah. let me make a, uh, a reference that will date this podcast entirely. Is that KSI yeah. and Logan Paul? <laughs> that's not... That's dating it to, like, months ago. <laughs> they're, bringing, they're doing another one. Oh, they're doing another one? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Man, I'm out of the loop. You dummy. Fucking... Oh, my bad. Yeah, they're gonna do another one, get millions, and basically do nothing. Again. Cool. Yeah, uh -huh. sick. God, YouTube's great. Mm-hmm. Also, I guess, sure, yes, that is them. They're both MMA champions. <laughs> 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 yeah, they are. <laughs> so funny. Merrick sits in his corner and claps giddily as they fight. After a short while, they cease their fight and turn their attention to the small child in the corner, clapping at them and chanting, I'm a boomer. <laughs> <laughs> they both then nod to each other and motion towards the boy. They then commence beating the ever-living shit out of him, and he's reduced to a bloody heap on the floor. Is he at least entertained? Uh, I guess so. He's probably gonna die. He I mean, was clapping. He was having fun. He was chanting, I'm a boomer. <laughs> so, he's, he seemed pretty entertained. Granger just started thinking to himself, Man, I am super smart. After looking at the word aardvark for the hundredth time, and still not being able to read it. <laughs> when all of a sudden, the hand appeared in between the pages of his dictionary. It now had two fingers curled up. He stared at the hand for a little bit bewildered, as it didn't look like a word he recognized before. But since he was illiterate, he wasn't entirely sure. The hand is a word? 
<laughs> of course. Then he grasped at it. Oops. Then he grasped at it and realized it wasn't a word at all, and in fact was a real object. Relieved, he muttered to himself, Wow, I sure do know a lot of things. I wish I knew nothing at all. Who even gives a shit about knowledge? Oh, Lord have mercy. Like that. And like that, lightning struck. A faint poop is heard. <laughs> and he and collapsed. Nothing changed. <laughs> Got him! Got him! Got him. <laughs> and, he, and he collapsed to the floor, not knowing how to control his muscles. He then pissed and shit himself, not knowing how to control his bladder or bowels. And then suffocated, not knowing how to breathe. Which was a little weird, but his lungs didn't question it because they didn't know how to. <laughs> That's good. That's a good one. Norman. We're the Norman, everybody. Okay. I'd say buckle up, but it's actually not that long. Rudy's was the longest. Because <laughs> I started to phone it in towards the time I got here. But, uh, we're, we're here. Norman was passed out, uh, was now passed out on the toilet with a cum-covered picture of two Gundams kissing, playing by his feet. <laughs> That's fucking the disgusting. <laughs> he passed out jerking off. Ew. On the toilet, like I he always does. I don't like that. I know it's true, but I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the same boat. By the way, VOD boys, I'm telling you right now, that is 100% true. I, we, this is not, that part is not fiction. The, the monkey's paw, of course, is fiction, but like, that part's yeah. not fiction. Yeah, that's that's Norman's typical every day. <laughs> he knew that, that fucking that Gundam picture is caked and cum. <laughs> yeah, you showed it to me before. I was like, "What the fuck? What is it supposed to be?" He's just like, it, "It's a picture," you know. <laughs> it, it looks like a giant brick. Yeah, it's a picture. Oh, <laughs> Sally Spray, Sally Spray, hello. A faint poop. <laughs> It's my WWE entrance theme. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh oh. Stinky. <laughs> Prove it. Continue the hand bubble. materialized out of nowhere and bonked him on the head. It then settled at his feet with three fingers curled up, making a finger gun. How neat. Norman awoke and picked up the hand. He then looked at his Gundam picture longingly and said, I wish my anime was real, and the stupid monkey hand would probably grant wishes. <laughs> I think... <laughs> Gross. I think at this point, you get the drill. Uh, lightning struck, faint laughing is heard. From the, at this point, I just was like... You know, when he goes, ha, 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 and then he says, poop. So that's the ha, 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 poop. Yeah, but it's just the ha, ha, ha. And Norman ha, ha. was trans... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and Norman was transported into anime. Dragon Ball, specifically. <laughs> Unfortunately, he became Krillin. So now, for the remainder of his existence, he never got laid and was killed several times. <laughs> what do you mean he never got laid? Did, did Krillin ever get laid? He 100% got laid. By who? Fucking the android lady. Oh yeah, he fucks the android. Yeah, He's just fucking a swine. sex bot at that point. <laughs> fucking not Krillin real flesh Krillin is cool pussy. as hell. I wish I was Krillin. He's definitely died several times though. That's did definitely you just happened. magically turn into Krillin and then you're gonna meet whatever fate Norman's about to. That's it. Yeah. Okay, you go ahead. Or just met, whatever. <laughs> now we're on to our final boy. Okay. Who? Uh, you. <gasps> what? Ba -da 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 -da. Jacob. Da -da. Jacob was done with his chin cell activities and had now taken up archery. He was starting to get bored, hitting exactly dead center on the target two miles away and continually splitting the previous arrow. He went to draw another arrow from his quiver and instead felt the hand on his back. He picked it up and studied it closely. Now, it was giving him a thumbs up. Who would have guessed? 
He put it in... What? Oh, he put it in his pocket for God knows why, and started to continue with his shot, when he thought he was getting hungry. Jacob went to the pantry to grab a bag of popcorn, but unfortunately, they were all out. Devastated by the lack of cornage, Jacob cursed under his breath, conveniently enough for this story. God damn it, I wish we never ran out of popcorn. Yada yada yada. Oh. Yada yada yada, you get it. Lightning strikes. <laughs> Popcorn spews fucking everywhere. <laughs> I, I wanted to do it. I wanted to do it. I was not ready. Oh. I'm sorry. Yada yada yada, you get it. Lightning strikes. <laughs> Popcorn spews fucking everywhere. Jacob died happy from the amount of popcorn, but sad from the amount of death. <laughs> what? Uh, What's wrong? That concludes the spooky story, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, I so you end it? Yeah, everybody died. Fucking, I literally wrote it in here with you two. What do you want from me? <laughs> I didn't have time. You I fucking... wrote mine while we were in all in <laughs> chat. My last you, both had, you both expected to talk to me like human beings. Fucking weird. So I, this is what I wrote. <laughs> well, fuck, dude. And that concludes the spooky story, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you all have a wonderfully spooky evening. Moral of the story, if you get mailed a box that says, uh-oh, on it, don't open it. The end. Uh-oh. <laughs> Krillin gets to being a blonde android. Yes, 100%. The kissing Gundams had me shaking in my boots. <laughs> I terrified the shit out of me too. My my peepee -pee just crawled up inside of its foreskin. It was so scary. <clears throat> yeah.